In this video, I will be going through the first tutorial of Multisim, which is mostly to get familiar with the environment. The first thing we need to do is rename the project tutorial 1. And if you remember, you can do this in the information section, uh, where you can also change the project to private. Next, we're asked to draw the following circuit on Multisim, which I will put on the left corner for your convenience for the rest of the video. Okay, so as I explained, it is important to have a ground, so let's start with that. You put it on the left corner, and then we can add our DC power supply, changing its EMF to 19 volts. I like to do this manually as the slide function sometimes is a bit less efficient if you're trying to get an exact value. We can also add the top two resistors, giving them the corresponding resistance values. To wire the middle resistor, you can start the wire at the resistor's node and end it as a junction with the other wire. We can then add the two other power supplies with EMFs 2 volts and 6 volts and the last resistor, finally just wiring everything up as a closed loop circuit. The next thing we're asked to do is place the voltage and current probes at each of the blue points, making sure that the current measurements are facing the given directions. Now when we pick a probe and place it, you will notice there is a little arrow. That arrow simply states the direction in which it is measuring the current. And if you look at the question, it is the opposite direction of what we want. In order to change the direction of the current measurement probe, we simply go to the item settings and click on flip current measurement. We can do the same for the next points, again switching the current direction of the probe whenever needed. Now we simply need to run the simulation to get all the measurements of the probes. 